So good morning. We are here at Sunday morning when um, we have our churches back home that are fellowshipping about this time. I'm trying to think what time it is. Actually, we're starting earlier than they are, aren't we? Some of them, some of them have been there setting up. <laughs> They started an hour and a half ago, but, but yeah, so um, again, just good morning. Um, I'm just going to do a few admin things um, to start name tags. Um, if you can take out, like if you, some people are um, words, Lord, sentimental, thank you, thank you, I was like, what's there? you can take out your name tag, but we actually reuse these, so if you can take these, there'll be a spot in the back to toss them. Um, so that we can reuse these. So just um, put those in the back as you leave. Um, the reading plans that I told you were on the table were not on the table. <laughs> so if you were one and you went back there and said, oh, they're not back here. They're back there now. <laughs> so they're on the back table. So if you want a hard copy of the reading plans that are they're accessible through the QR code. But if you want a, a hard copy, they're back there on that back table. Um, I know also something that I found, and I think it was one that Mandy had suggested last year because I actually am almost finished, and it was a year-long plan that I think she recommended, but it was on my Bible app, um, and I know for me that's been really good. It did um, two chapters of the Old Testament, a proverb or a psalm, and then a chapter of the New Testament, so it was like four chapters a day, um, but it, you read through the Bible in a year. And like the Proverbs you repeated, because there's only 31. But, but it, was, it was a really neat mix. Because sometimes when you're in Leviticus, we thank you, Lord, that Jesus came. But you might need a little something more. <laughs> you know, I'm not, you know. So it was helpful to like, okay, if you read maybe something that wasn't, at, it just didn't speak to your heart. But then you read maybe that proverb or that psalm or that New Testament passage. It just gave a good mix of God's word. So that was one that I know that I have enjoyed. And like I said, it, I, I must have started it shortly after our retreat. That, but that's on the Bible app. And so that's been helpful for me. Um, so I want to mention that one too. Um, the other thing is the trilogy books. Um, I told you guys they're on the back table, and when I left, they were all gone. This is the last copy, because I had it in my room to show you guys. <laughs> so if you were like, oh, I wanted to get one, there's one left. <laughs> um, I'll put it on that back table, but again, you can order them online. But, um, but here, there's a, the, that trilogy book we talked about. Um, the other thing that, and I mentioned this last night, is to just, I pray that you stay here. Like, I know we're Sunday. You, you guys have packed. We've packed our cars. Our stuff is there. We're thinking about, okay, the drive back. You know, we start to, to kind of go there. Ask the Lord to keep you here. For Just stay here in, in this space, Lord. I know that we're not done. <laughs> we're not done with what you have for us. So I just ask you just to... Try to keep, when that distraction comes, say, Lord, no, let me stay here. Lord, no, keep me here. Keep my mind here. Um, so just want to encourage you this morning to do that. Just as um, Monica was sharing, just we welcome his presence. This morning is, is going to be a little different than the, the other sessions. So we just really want to bask in the Lord's presence and all he has for us this morning. And so we just need to remain present here with him. Um, I don't think it was me. <laughs> I think I'm silenced, but I want to make sure. <laughs> um, yeah, that wasn't me. Okay. Bing! Distraction! Bing! <laughs> Sorry! Back here. Back here. Um, I want us to go ahead and read our verse. Not read it. Leave your bookmarks away. We should know it by now. Again, it's three verbs. We got it. <laughs> we got it. We can go home with this one. Okay. So let's read it to you. Or say it together. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and I follow me. John 10, 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. John 10, 27. Lord, we thank you that, again, we hear your voice. We sheep of your, your flock in this room, we hear your voice. We know you and you know us. We want to follow you. Keep us here. Keep us close to you. 
That proximity we've talked about, keep us close by your side. May our ears remain in tune with your voice, our precious, good shepherd. Continue to speak. It's in Jesus' name. Um, so we're not the, the, we're going to have some more worship, but the Lord um, just really impressed on my heart. I have um, been sharing with some of you one on one about this, and um, He just really said you need to let the, them know, let everyone know. Um, because it speaks to the power of God's word. And it's um, something that the Lord has shown me over this journey that, that, I, that John and I have been on with um, his health stuff. Um, and I know God's word is powerful. Like I've known that, that, that basking in his word is powerful. But he, the Lord chose to reveal something to me that a depth of it, a fruit of it, that I, I didn't really think, I didn't know. I didn't know. It was a, a, a new thing for me to see. And we've been talking about the power of God's word and spending time in the word. And the word is what gets us through. And the word is what we hold on to. The word is our rock. We're, you know, everything is about you know, his word. Um, and you guys, John has been very open and honest with the body about his anxiety with this. Um, he's not hidden that from you. Um, some would feel like it was uncomfortable because he's real about it. Um, that he struggles, that he has that struggle. So I know I'm not sharing anything that, that he hasn't shared with us. You know, um, it is a vulnerable place that when he does that, um, he feels very weak in letting you guys know that. But he's like, I, I, I'm not going to pretend. <laughs> I'm not going to put a facade on. And so as we've been walking this journey, um, obviously the Lord is ministering to he and I differently because we're in different parts with this. And... Um, one of the things that John has been, the Lord has been um, putting on John's heart was Psalm 46. And people in this room, without knowing that, have sent it to him <laughs> in different ways. And it's just that reminder, just that reminder, you know, like when God gives us a word and he wants to really make sure we know it, <laughs> he sends someone else to tell us. He sends another one and another one. And you're like, okay. Okay, I really, okay, that really was your voice. That really was your voice. Um, so I just want to read a little bit out of Psalm 46. Um, and it just says, God is my refuge and strength, an ever present help in trouble. Therefore, I will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her and she will not fall. God will help her on break of day. Nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. It says in there, therefore I will not fear. And we have an expectation when we read that, that we won't fear now. <laughs> like, well, I will not fear. Okay, I'm not going to fear. <laughs> but it's a journey to get to that place where we will not fear. And to allow ourselves to be on a journey to get to that place where we will not fear. And we don't know how long that journey is going to take to get us there. I want to testify of, John has been walking with the Lord since he was a young child. I think he was like 11 or 12. Um, but his walk with the Lord became real when he was in college. And... Um, 
He has spent decades in the Word. Just in the Word. In the Word. Just saturated in the Word. He teaches the Word, so he needs to spend time in it. Um, But during this time, because of the fear, the whisper has been, no, mm, I don't know that you really know. Yeah. Do you really think the Bible is all that? Because, you know, you're scared. You must not really believe it. Those kind of lies have come against him. And so as he's fearful before these procedures, I want to share about when he went in. He had two different procedures a week apart, and by God's grace and God's mercy, he let the one procedure go well so that the second, more, more, inst- and more intense one would be better. But I can testify that before the first one, there was fear and anxiety. But the second one, before he went back for the surgery, um, we sat, he was ready for it, and they had us wait. They said, we're cleaning this room. We, we need to wait for the room to be clean, and then we'll go back. Well, that's waiting in a gown to go into surgery is not a great place to be. <laughs> but I can testify that we were there for over an hour waiting for that room, waiting and waiting. We had music playing. John's station was Shane and Shane on Pandora. (laughs) So we had music playing. And during that moment, during those moments, by God's grace and mercy, he's sitting there, sitting. He wasn't laying down because he was just sitting. He almost dozed off. There was so much peace. And we know that is not of John. That is not of John. Shortly before he went back for the procedure on Shane and Shane, they sang Psalm 46. (laughs) Yeah. The person that came in, the um, anesthesiologist's assistant who came in, knew that there was anxiety because we had been telling them. (laughs) She knew the music was beneficial, and so it was time for me to leave. And she was like, "We're we're going down the hall now. She said, so take your phone, and she turned her phone onto Shane and Shane and said, now you have mine. For the glory of God. As she wheels him down the hall, I'm walking with him. She says, she looks at me, and she says, I'm going this way. You need to go that way. (laughs) Okay. Okay. We parted. Procedure's done, surgery goes well, we're on the other, you know, surgeons called me. Um, They knew that I wanted to get back to him very quickly after because I knew for anxiety it's helpful for me to be there. It's just helpful, so I said, so I had to be a little persistent because they said they were going to call me and they hadn't, and I'm like, hello, I need to be back there, where are you? And the nurse, it was a male nurse, he's like, "Um, he's doing just fine, you sound a little more worried. (laughs) to say, Melanie, you did not sound worried. You sound persistent. I said, thank you. I didn't feel like I was anxious. I was just like, I want to be with him. Thank you. I'm going to be my advocate, the advocate for my husband. That's my job. (laughs) She said, you were being an advocate. I said, okay. But they brought me back and he was coming out of the anesthesia. And again, he's still not He's in under anesthesia. He's had surgery. So those of you who are nurses, you know anesthesia, that's surgery. You're not, you're not cognitively there yet. Like we have God's word and we can quote his word and we can say, we can quote a verse when we're struggling. But when you're cognitively not able to think, you can't do it. You can't, like you don't have the ability to cognitively say, no, Lord, I'm going to try. You know, you don't, you can't do that. So I get back there to see him. And this is not a testimony to John, and that's what I want you guys to hear. This is the glory of the Lord and what he does when we spend time with him. He's not cognitively fully there, and I come up, he is mumbling Psalm 46. Mumbling Psalm 46, saying, the Lord got me through. The Lord got me through. Psalm 46. I mean, he's just quoting it. And he doesn't even, I mean, he doesn't have the cognitive ability to choose that. That is for God's glory. God did 
did that for my husband. The nurse didn't know that's what he was saying. He just, you know, he's, oh yeah, they mumble. You know, dismissed it. And as, the time, as John began to come more to himself, and we were able to have opportunities to share the Lord with the nurse, I said, but earlier in that, I said, you know what he was saying? You didn't know, he's, he's quoting Psalm 46. Because he, this is God. This is for the testimony of the Lord. You didn't know what he was saying, but I knew what he was saying. And that was a testimony for me. And a testimony that I could tell John. John, this is what you were clinging to even when you couldn't. In our breakout session, there were just a couple of us with our breakout session. And it was the one on barrenness. And her words frequently through that breakout session were, whatever you want to do to bring you glory, I surrender. Whatever you want to do for you to get glory. Whatever you want to do for us to be able to testify of your goodness and your grace. May you do it. So I ask us, are we willing to surrender to those valleys for whatever you want to do for your glory? Lord, we thank you that when we spend time with you in your word, You bring it to our recollection when we can't. There are times when you do tell us to do it, and we have to do it, and we have to speak it to ourselves. We have to do, there's a part that you call us to be obedient, to speak it, to trust it. But there are also times that we are weak, And there's no ability in us to speak it or to trust it. And you'd pour out even more grace and more mercy upon us so that we can hold on to it. Lord, I pray this morning that if there is anything that we have not surrendered to you, May we do it. May we not leave here holding on to it. May we say, whatever you want to do for your glory, I am willing. It's in your precious. I want to read some verses out of Ezekiel chapter 34. There's much in this passage about sheep and shepherds that we have been meditating on while we've been here. It talks about bad sheep or bad shepherds and How they abuse the sheep. Gabby hit on that some last night. But then it it shifts after it talks about the judgment for those bad shepherds and what's coming their way. I'm going to start reading in verse 23. I will place over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he will tend them. He will tend them and be their shepherd. I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David will be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. That one shepherd is Jesus, our good shepherd. Ezekiel's prophesying about him coming to earth to shepherd us. 
And then it goes on to say, picking up in verse 25, it says, I will make a covenant of peace with them and rid the land of the wild beasts so that they may live in the desert and sleep in the forests in safety. I will bless them in the places surrounding my hill. I will send down showers in season. There will be showers of blessing. The trees of the field will yield their fruit and the ground will yield its crops. The people will be secure in the land. They will know that I am the Lord. When I break the bars of their yoke and rescue them from the hands of those that, who enslaved them. I will no longer, or they will no longer be plundered by the nations, nor will wild animals devour them. They will live in safety, and no one will make them afraid. No one will make them afraid. I will provide for them a land renowned for its crops, and they will no longer be victims of famine in the land and bear the scorn of the nations. Then they will know that I the Lord their God and with them. That they, the house of Israel, are my people and, then, and us grafted in as Gentiles are my people, declares the sovereign Lord. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture. I am your God, declares the Lord. Earlier on in 34, in verse 15, it says, I myself will tend my sheep and have them lie down, declares the sovereign Lord. I myself. He said, no more shepherds, no more these bad shepherds abusing my sheep. Put them in a land of security and safety. To bestow blessing upon blessing upon blessing upon them. Covenant of peace. Fruitful lands. No fear. Breaking the bond of slavery. Of flesh and sin. Praise you, Lord. He came down. <laughs> so we're going to remember him. As we've been remembering him all weekend, but we're going to remember him this morning. You should have at your seats a cup close by you somewhere. <laughs> In Psalm 23, 5, it talks about how he prepared, the shepherd prepares a table before, it says, it prepared, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. But we're going to refer back to a different table that was prepared. And there was an enemy there at the time. An enemy to the good shepherd who had come. But Jesus prepared a table for his disciples to enjoy what was to become their last moment together. Reading from Matthew chapter 26, it says, While they were eating, 
Jesus took the bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and offered it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the transgressions of sin. I tell you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. As we know, the bread and the cup represent his body that was broken and his blood that was shed for us. But right after sharing this with his disciples, he says, he says to them, this is Jesus speaking, Jesus said to them, you will all fall away because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep of the flock will scatter. He knew they were going to be scattered with what was about to come. He knew it was coming. You're going to be scattered tonight. He knew the time was at hand. Right then. He knew what was happening. But he gave them a picture to look back on. In the days that followed, they could look back on this time that they spent with him at that table When he said, we're going to be scattered, he told us. We didn't get it. We didn't understand it. We were, it wasn't clear. But they could look back. They didn't know what was lying ahead, but he knew what was to come. So we too, 2,000 years later, have the opportunity to look back at this time. Knowing history, we can look at the completed picture. We know what happened. We know all of the story because we're on the other side of it. We know how the enemy came. We know how enemies came. They arrested him. They beat him. They tortured him. They mocked him. And he died a brutal death on our behalf to pay for our sin. He was buried in the ground for three days and we know he rose again. We know the victory was won on our behalf. This victory brings us, those scattered sheep, back into the fold. We are no longer wandering, aimless, vulnerable, but we have been found, we've been given a purpose, and we are secure in Him. So this morning, as we take this time to remember this, perhaps remember this in a different way, as that shepherd who collected us back. He was that shepherd who went there to bring us back into the fold. That good shepherd who rescued us. So during this time, we're going to, you have your elements. Um, I want you just to take a few minutes. Um, while um, Megan is, is, is um, not Megan, Monica, thank you, Monica is playing. You can sit in your seat or if you want to move around this space or if you want to just even sit out on the steps out front, whatever. Just take some time with, with you and the Lord personally to remember. To remember your good shepherd. To remember his body that was broken and his blood that was shed on your behalf. And after a, a few moments of that time, giving you that time, we'll, we'll come back in and congregate once again with one another. <laughs> 